Okay guys, honey harvest is over. So now, what do we do next to help the bees survive the winter? We gotta keep them strong so the colony is big, lots of bees in there. We also wanna see lots of honey stored out for them for the winter. I'm actually going to feed them no matter what in September. But for now, what I need to do as soon as I pulled out all the supers, I have to put mite treatment and small hive beetle traps so that way mites and small hive beetles will not kill my bees so let's see what we're going to do and how we're going to do it let's open this hive up we need to treat it if your hive is two years old it's not a new hive you have to treat it so we're going to open this up oh yeah lots of bees nice what I'm gonna do I have to put small hive beetle in the middle between the second boot box and the first one so i'm not even gonna smoke the top box they're not too aggressive right now oh maybe i should have smoked them a little bit you see give them a little smoke boom they're gonna run away and there you go this is the brand i'm using against mites that's what my um beekeeper a guide recommends me to do and what I'm gonna do there's two strips I'm gonna put right in the middle right here of the hive they're gonna chew it up and it's gonna kill the mites and I'll come back in 10 days and give them another strip and that's it this is what we're going to do in August right here in my area while we are doing that let's actually open up a frame and do a quick hive inspection let's see how well these bees doing i know they're doing well i usually don't like to get it getting in into my beehives unless i have to boom this frame looks like they they doing out the comb i think by the end of this summer it's going to be full of honey for sure so i don't have to worry about space that's for sure they have plenty of space looks like Drawn out combs, but no honey on this side. And there is plenty of honey right here, so they're eating up the honey. But there is still lots of lots of flowers out there, especially the goldenrod is blooming a lot. So I'm not worried, they're going to fill it in by the end of the August. I'm not going to do that to all my hives, only to one of them. You see, I'm just agitating for nothing. So honestly, you see how strong this hive normally i would not get in and check on them because why mess with them if they're doing good bees are wild wild insects they can take care of a lot of problems <coughs> they can take care of a lot of problems by themselves so i wouldn't even recommend to go into your hive once a week for no reason and disturb them and bother them you see they still have plenty of honey right here you know in September I'm going to start feeding them that's for sure though you see they've been feeding on the honey because it's a very big hive so we will feed them for sure but in September you see they're a little bit aggressive today they attack me let's see boom and there is brood right here looks good and on this side lots of brood so that's what i want to see if there is lots of brood right here i don't have to worry about nothing look at that so the queen is laying no big deal so don't waste your time and check on your bees all the time normally i would not even uh, move these frames at all i just wanted to show it to you they're doing well I see lots of eggs so it's good there is pollen in there so there is plenty of food for them and I need to go and get more food you see by the eggs there is plenty of pollen right now if you look at those yellow dots that's pollen and then there is a bees are hatching soon enough look at this bee is hatching right now slowly the, isn't it cool you see that right here that's awesome all right i'm gonna close it back up 
I'm gonna check the second box, see how much honey they got. And here's why I don't get, and here's why I don't like to get in into my hives. The more often you get in into your hives, like that when you don't need to, the more you're going to make mistakes. Only get in into your hives if you have to. Like, it's time to treat them, like, for me, I'm going to put this mites treatment medicine. This hive used to be very small uh, in the beginning of the summer. And as you can see, it's thriving now. I was actually worried for this hive. I left it alone, let it grow it by itself. And look at that. I didn't really do anything special. They just thrive and work and do whatever they have to do to succeed by themselves. This is what small hive beetle traps look like. We're just going to take off a couple, fill up. You can use vegetable oil, olive oil. I like vegetable oil the best because olive oil kind of stinks too much. And also you can add to it that the meshes earth. Either or, whatever you want. And then we're going to stick it in here. But you really have to stick it all the way in. No spaces because they will hide the small hive beetles. Hide in between of them. One here and one on the other side. I don't think this hive have any small hive beetles. But just in case. I'll wipe off all the oil. Boom, not too much. You see that? And then one, I'm going to stick it this way. Lots of lots of bees. You see? One in each corner. Boom. Just like that. Now I'm going to smoke them a little bit so they run away. That way when I put these bugs back up, I'm not going to squeeze any or minimum amount of bees. Okay, let's see how much honey they have in a second box. And as you can see, I love this kind of frames, the net ones, because there's no ants. I would have so much ants and it's just annoying. Second box looks like even bigger. Let me just show you. Wow. This is why I'm not worried. Usually this side frame should be empty. And look at that. It's full of honey. This side and this side. Well, anyways, halfway. Go and look for small hive beetles. I don't see any. But look, halfway full of honey. And usually this frame in the corner is always empty. But I guarantee you, the rest of them is 100% full. So I'm not worried about this for this hive at all. I'll smoke them a little bit and close them back up. Because this hive is amazing. They treat it against mites. They have small hive beetle traps they're not going anywhere I think they're gonna be very strong next uh, summer and we're actually gonna get a lot of honey from them push all this together a lot of people were saying whoa you have a graveyard of bees that's normal bees don't really live very long time in the summertime and they just keep replenish but they also do have a lot of problems too like pesticide and all this stuff that they spray against bugs it also kills the good kind of bugs as well but yeah looks like i have not lost any hives for almost second season knock on wood this is unheard of usually my like uh, neighbor had like bunch of hives and they lost like six hives out of like more than 20 hives. And I heard people lose hives all the time. They just die, there's different problems. And I've been lucky enough not to lose any hives. And that new hive that I split in the beginning of summer doing very, very well. So that's it, this is what I do to all of my hives in the beginning of summer and before I set up supers and as soon as I take off supers, I'll treat my bees again. So, I'm not going to film the rest of the video doing the same thing because it just takes a lot longer filming and doing stuff. So I'm going to give them mite medicine and install small hive beetle traps. That's pretty much it. So it's going to be maybe 30 minutes of work with nine hives. But yeah, 
Let me know in comments below what do you think if you want to see more beekeeping videos when I have to feed them in about 20 days or maybe even less. Give this video a like so I'm gonna keep doing them. Alright guys, see you next time.